you a little too much output on this. I gotta lower the wattage. Hello! Hello, guys! It's me. I'm back again with Pe Can I can I talk? Thank you. It's me and it's Pete. We're back. And we're here to do another review by popular demand. Because you know, 30 views on my last video. That's a pretty big deal for me, not gonna lie. And six people liked it! Woo! That's record breaking right there. That is record breaking! Although, personally, I think it's all because of this pretty face right here. You are so irresistible. Yes, you are. He's so cute. Wah! Go away. Wah! Go away. Wait. So, Pancake and I are back to do another review, and this time around, We've got a special treat for you. It's a new product that's just come out in the past few months. Introducing, ta-da, the Vandy Vape Swell Kit. It's Randy. It's Dandy. It's Vandy Vape. Ha ha. Let me give you a little bit of a background here. Vandy Vape was, are you? That's a little bit too Randy. <laughs> Vandy Vape was founded in 2016. It's a relatively new company. It's only about three years old now, but they are already making a massive impact on the vaping world. And the reason why is because they're always coming out with new innovations to their products. They are constantly thinking outside the box. They have already come out with some highly popular items such as the Pulse BF box mod, the Berserker MTL kit, and they even have their own line of cotton and coils, which is in very close competition with Wotofo. Recently, however, Vandy Vape have come out and made this monumental decision to work in partnership with uh, a vaping critic known by Tony B. At first, I didn't know who Tony B was. I, I had never heard of him. Right? I never heard that name before. I immediately assumed that he was some sort of uh, model designer. Not for Victoria's Secret. Mm. That's a little bit too Vandy. <laughs> but after doing some research, I actually found out that Tony B is a critically acclaimed vape product reviewer. He's reviewed multiple mods, kits, and accessories from different companies. He actually has his own YouTube channel called Vapor Trail. You should check it out when you get a chance. He is extremely knowledgeable in the craft. He breaks down the products in a very simple method. He has this way of explaining things so that even a dumbass like myself can understand what Ohm's Law means. And I didn't even go to law school. And there's my one for the day. Ah! So the swell kit here is supposedly the perfect kit for beginners. But where have we heard that before? Break one! Yeet. The swell kit is a dual battery box mod paired with the signature swell sub-ohm tank. It goes to a maximum wattage of 188 watts. Why it doesn't go up to 200 I don't know. That's just the way it was designed. Supposedly the kit is user-friendly enough for beginners to use it right away, but it's complicated enough that experts can play around to build their own custom vaping experience. Now here's where it gets interesting. Vandy Vape has added two innovative features to this kit. The first one that I want to mention is that they have built the, the mod with a waterproofed printed circuit board, which basically means that the mod in here is resistant to water damage and short circuiting. You can use this in rainy or wet conditions, which can sometimes be a rather shocking experience. <sighs> really? Really? Did you just go there? Really? Oh. You can also actually wash the mod. This is something that's been unheard of with previous mods from other companies. The circuit board is protected from water, so you can actually pop out the batteries and you can put this mod in the water and wash it and scrub all the stains off it and then 
you dry it. Make sure that you thoroughly dry it with a towel, maybe a, maybe a hair dryer. This is something I've never heard of before. I've never thought of submersing my mod to wash it. I've always taken a damp towel very carefully, very carefully wiping down the mod. But with this, you can put it under the water in the tap and you can wash it out thoroughly. And the second innovative feature of this mod, it has a location finding feature. You can download the Vandy Vape app onto your phone. You register your account with Vandy Vape. You register your mod to your account. And if you lose your mod, open up the Vandy Vape app on your smartphone, connect your phone to your mod. And what will happen is that the mod will send out a loud ping to help you locate exactly where you lost your mod. Unfortunately, I'm using my phone to film this video, so I won't be able to show you how the app works using my phone. But if any of you decide to go and purchase this product, please let me know how it goes. Try out the app, let me know how it works, yeah? Thank you very much. This feature is a perfect example of what I was saying about Vandy Vape thinking outside the box. A GPS? For my vape, whoever is in R&D for Vandy Vape, you guys clearly are not paying them enough. This is a fantastic idea. And if there's one thing I know, there is at least one or two of us that have left their mods in a taxi or left them in a bar. Alper, I'm looking at you. Mm. I know there are many of you out there that you know have lost a mod or two. And this kind of feature may help you to retrieve it so that you don't have to spend more money to buy a new mod. And I think that's just swell. Oh, God damn it. Ugh. So without any further ado, let's move right on to the unboxing section of this video. I think we're gonna have a really good time with it. <laughs> Introducing the Swell Kit from Vandy Vape and Tony B. Totally radical, bros. On the front of the box, the logo of the kit, you can see there's some lovely waves here. We've got the Vandy Vape brand over here with the logo and the slogan, full steam ahead, Vandy Vape website. And then over here in the top right, we have the color scheme of the mod inside the box. G10 brown alligator snapper? What is that? Is that some kind of like an alligator fish crossbreed or some shit. One other thing you'll notice too is that all along the box here are printings of water swells. It feels really nice to touch. Oh, it feels like the nubs of nipples. Mm. Oh, I can already tell this is gonna be one sexy vape. You like that? Yeah, you do. <clears throat> okay, uh, moving on. On the bottom side of the box we have a Tony B project in what appears to be water waves. At the top of the box, we have the brand and the logo, Vandy Vape, and the slogan, full steam ahead. And then on the other sides of the box, we have fuck all. On the back of the box, we have a list of what's inside. Products little includes. Wait, what? Products little includes. Okay, seriously, who hires your writing editors? Because you need to fire them. How could you let such an obvious mistake pass by? Products include one swell kit, which is the mod, a spare parts bag, there's apparently two of them, instructional manual. I must advise if you're gonna if you're gonna purchase a mod, make sure you read the manuals, people. Two M coils. I'm guessing M stands for mesh, mesh coils, warranty card, proper user guidance, a USB cable, and one bubble glass tank. There are actually two tanks in this box. One is a standard Pyrex glass, quartz glass tank, and the second is a bubble glass, but we'll get to those in a minute. Over here you can see we've got the company website, vandyvape.com, address that you can mail them to, and even a phone number in case you know you want to call them after such a lovely sexy night. You want to give them a call. No one night stands for Vandy Vape. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Check this out here. This is something special. What we have here is a sample 
mod. We have a sample product. So this particular product that I have here is one that you would show to potential store owners. This is not a version of the mod that is sold to regular customers. Whether or not that means it's better, I don't know. But I do know that I am in for a special treat that not a lot of other people get. Let's have a look inside the box. How do you... Do you, you push it out? How do you open this thing? Oh. Oh, I think I just creamed myself. Look at that. That is sexy as fuck. Look at this mod. This is beautiful. This is, it's, it feels very lightweight in the hand. Very nice. Oh my God. This is a beautiful mod. I want to take this out for a steak dinner with a nice Bordeaux and then make sweet love to it while listening to Barry White. Can't get enough of your love, baby. Oh, yeah. Looking at the tank as well, like this is a really nice, sleek looking tank. I like the matte black finish on it. It goes perfectly well with the mod. This is excellent color scheming here. Take a look at the drip tip here. Normally, I am a fan of low profile drip tips, like on the Zeus X from Geekvig. But looking at this drip tip, it actually really complements the entire set really well. And I love this smoky finish in the design of it like it is this is a beautiful drip tip if we look inside there there's a triple coil we'll talk more about that later taking the set outside of the box we see here that there is a black envelope Ooh, this is interesting i wonder if this is my invitation to the vandy vape ball <gasps> i'm so excited <laughs> eh, come on pull it out ah Inside the envelope, we've got the qualified certificate, just some battery stuff from Vandy Vape. The user manual, make sure you give this a read through before you start using it. I cannot stress how important that is. And then there's this. This is a tutorial pamphlet on how to use the Vandy Vape app on your phone. If you want to know how to use, for example, the location program for your vape, this will walk you through the entire process from registering your account, registering your mod or your device, and even go so far as to show you how to locate your device, firmware updates, as well as an introduction to the different modes that you can access on your smartphone for your vape. And it comes with some spare O-rings too. Looking further inside the box here, when we open up the flap, you'll see they have one more coil here. We have a mesh coil and we have a bubble tank, which you'll probably get a better look at later because I prefer bubble tanks over standard tanks. And of course we have the USB charge cord. Looking at the mod in the tank kit here, what the? Seriously? Dog hair? Ugh. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy. Looking at the mod here, it's very sleek in design. There's the brand name right there. It feels soft in my hand. This is very ergonomic. I like that. It's very lightweight. The mod itself is made of a zinc alloy. It's lightweight and it's durable. There's a big firing button right up here at the top and two smaller adjustment buttons here. The top one is plus, the bottom one is minus, USB port here, and a small little LCD right here. When I press the power button once, it shows me that the power is off. I press the fire button five times to turn it on. One, two, three, four, five. Then the logo comes up swell. Currently, we're just in the basic mode of the mod. You can see it's very user-friendly. You've got the battery power up top. You've got the wattage level in big numbers and letters here. Underneath, we have the ohmage and the voltage counter, puff counter, and the timer for how long you have your puff. Along with changing the modes of the mod, you can also change the power mode. All you have to do is press the fire button four times, one, two, three, four, and it brings up a list of different options that you can choose from for power modes. Normal, up at the top. S for soft. H for hard. DL, I'm not sure what that means. MTL, this mod has MTL capabilities. I think that's really cool. To lock the mod, you need to press and hold the firing button and the plus button. 
If I want to unlock it, then I press and hold the plus button and the firing button again. Then there is the menu function. I press and hold both the plus and the minus buttons at the same time to access the menu. And now I have this lovely little menu that shows up and there are different functions that I could choose from, including changing the settings, adjusting a sleep function to the mod so that it automatically turns off on its own when not in use, changing the brightness of the screen, the puff counter, how many puffs I've had so far, color scheme change of the menu, the software version, and you can reset your mod to factory settings. Looking at the tank now, you'll notice that I've switched out the standard glass tube for the bubble tube. This particular kit comes with two tanks. The standard one, which is a three milliliter tank, and then this bubble tank, which is 4.5 milliliters. Dual slotted air intake ports at the bottom of the tank. They look fairly wide. It looks good. Looks like I'll be able to get a nice pull. The core inside of this mod is a 0.15 ohm triple mesh coil. That is pretty. It says it has a range of between 50 to 100 watts. That leads me to believe that the best wattage setting for a core like this would be between 70 to 80 watts. But if you remember my last video about the Preco One, I talked about how you should always go under the preferred wattage when using mesh coils. It makes the coils last longer, the flavor production's a lot better. Putting it all together, I mean, this looks damn sexy. Oof. I feel like I should be paying a $39.95 subscription. This is like porn. Holy shit. It's very pleasing to the eye and it feels good in the hand. It's very ergonomic, very smooth, I like it. But this is only one part of the experience. So now we're gonna move on to product testing. For today's product test, we will be using a fan favorite, Riot Squad's Smashed Apple Pie. Everybody in the Los Vapos community loves this brand of juice. This company has added a new color to the spectrum. It's got like a beautiful buttery crust on the inhale and like a powerfully packed punch of apple and cinnamon on the exhale. I love puffing this flavor after I've eaten dinner. So this product test is actually going to be a little bit different than what you're used to. <laughs> Oh, too hot. Oh, too hot. Can't get enough for your love, baby. Oh, ha, hi. Didn't see you there. Ha <laughs> ha. I said this was going to be a special product testing. And as you can see, it's not exactly a normal sitting on the couch and testing the vape. Relax, I'm wearing swim shorts under here. Grow up, you perverts. Now, the one thing that Bandy Vape claims is that the swell kit is water resistant and it has preventative measures against water damage, which basically means that you can use it in wet situations. So that is exactly what we're gonna do today. Core's all primed up, the tank is full with smashed apple from Riot Squad. So we're gonna give this a test run under the shower and see how it handles wet conditions. Let me just wash this off first. <sighs> See, right away I have my doubts because if you notice here, the USB port is open and there's no way to cover it. So that tells me that if I put this directly under the water, maybe it won't short circuit, but it could definitely damage the mod or more than likely it could damage me. So don't try this shit at home. Oh, that's got a nice flavor production to it. Mmm, mmm. Oh, wow. That is really good. 
Like you can really get a full flavor. This is gorgeous stuff. You can see the tank in the mod is getting a little bit wet under the conditions, but I'm doing my best to avoid the USB port from being exposed to the water. Cause I know if the USB port gets under the water, then this thing's fucked. Like with any kind of mod in like rain, you gotta be careful with this shit. Oh my God, that is beautiful. And I can't get enough of it. This is, this is intense. So overall experience, I have to say that it feels amazing in my hand. The ergonomic of it is perfect. And the, the quality of the vaping experience is fantastic. Cloud production is phenomenal. Flavor production is excellent. Vandy Vape has really built a well-built kit here. Not only that, but it was able to withstand minimal water conditions. If I really wanted to give it a good test, I'd go out in the middle of a storm or I'd soak it under this thing. But to be perfectly honest, I don't want to get electrocuted to death. That is quite a shocking experience. Seriously, stop with the goddamn puns. It's a fantastic vape. The experience is incredible. I highly advise you guys to purchase this mod when you get a chance. This thing is built to last and it's built to be fun. It's eye-catching and the vaping experience is phenomenal. It's, it's simply put, it's one of the best experiences in vaping that I've had in a very, very long time. Oh, I gotta get right in there. Gotta make sure my beard is nice and soft and clean, you know? Ha. Ah, oh, it feels pretty good. <laughs> like a freshly picked apple. Mwah. So, if I had to give an overall score of the Vandy Grape Swell Kit, I would have to say that I give it a solid nine out of 10. It's beautiful to look at. Like it is simply put an elegant and well-constructed piece of machinery. Very, very pleasing to the eye. When I hold it in my hand, it's very comfortable. It feels good in my hand. It doesn't feel oblong, out of place. It doesn't feel uncomfortable to hold. It's, it's great. A little bit of beard balm. Follow it up with some beard oil. And when I use it, when I use the product, the vaping experience is phenomenal. Full on flavor production, like I can taste the intensity of the apple pie and the cloud production is obnoxiously fantastic. An overall amazing experience. My only concern and the only drawback that I can see is that for a company that claims their vape is water resistant or at the very least resistant to water damages, you would think that they would have something to cover the USB port just in case. Anyway guys, that's my time. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you take my comments into consideration when you're buying a new mod for yourself or if you're just starting out and going to buy your first mod. I would highly, highly recommend the Swell Kit from Vandy Vape and Tony B. And on that note, to all my brothers and sisters in the Los Vapos community, Vape on bros.